Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we change the orientation of the contents of the cell or how can we manipulate the way the text is written in a cell in Microsoft Excel. And apart from that, we are also going to see that how can we just manipulate the Excel sheet uh, whenever we are trying to print it. There are many uh, cases where uh, the data is endowed into the sheets, but the proper print format is not generated. So we are going to see that how can we use the different print functions that are given to us by Microsoft Excel and how can we use them very easily to manipulate the sheet data as per our choice? How can we customize it to our uh, desired print output? So first of all, we are going to take a look at uh, that. How can we just um, change the way our data looks or in the text or a cell. So here you can see that uh, I've created a simple calendar of the month June 2020. Now in this calendar, you can see that this uh, June 2020 is written like this and all these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on are written in a slightly different format in a slightly rotated format while the general concern or the general way of writing a text is very simple that um, it is written uh, in a 90 degree format or a plain format with no rot rotations but how can we rotate the text as per our choice is what we are going to see so for that what is uh, done is a thing called orientation which is changed of the text which we want to convert so how can we change the orientation of the text so first of all let us just click on a cell and provide it with any data like Monday uh, MON for Monday and we can just uh, use the custom lists option so that all these data are available to us all these weekdays are available to us then in the home tab, you will find an alignment group. When you just go to it, you can just change its uh, alignment to a center, both horizontally and the vertically. When you are providing a horizontal alignment, then it is called a center alignment. And when you are providing it with a vertical alignment, then it is known as a middle alignment. Now uh, you got to change its orientation uh, to something like this. So how can we do that? In the alignment group only, there is an option of orientation and there is an arrow. When you just click on it, there are different options available to us. Some of these options are predefined by Microsoft Excel. And if you want, you can just use them or you can format the cell alignment as per your choice. So that is a custom format uh, which you can choose. So if you want to just choose this um, predefined format, you can simply click on it and this um, uh, text would be rotated as per that format but what if I don't want this much of rotation I want a slightly less rotation so that means I'm going for a custom format how can I do that just simply select the cells to which you want to provide a custom format go to this orientation tab and select format cell alignment and as soon as you do that a uh, uh, this kind of a dialog box will appear in front of you and in here you can just change anything about the cell that you want. This is a format cells dialog box that has appeared in front of you in which uh, the alignment tab is selected by default because we are uh, just going to change its alignment a little bit. Now here you can see that orientation is available. So the orientation you can see is provided with a 45 degree angle. Uh, in a clockwise direction but what if we do not want that we want text to be rotated by a 90 degree angle so you can just manipulate this uh, slider like this to any of the uh, things that you want and I have chosen this 90 degree and as soon as I click on ok then you can see that all the cell contents have been uh, rotated to a value of 90 degree now if you want to change it further you can just go to format cell alignment once again and you can just change it to a positive uh, value like or a minus 60 degrees that is what I want and then press ok so this is how the contents of the cell are changed so this is a simple way how you can just change the orientation of the cells 
and using this you can just uh, manipulate the way the cells look to any of the uh, way that you want now uh, once we have changed this orientation of the cell uh, now you can apply any formatting to it the cell uh, are looking similar they are behaving similar only the difference is that its orientation has been changed so that was all about orientation you can just use the predefined sets of the orientations that are available to you or you can just customize it as per your choice now the next thing is how can you just manipulate the way your sheet looks for the print so as of now if i just delete all these contents and i only just focus on this particular calendar and i want to print it in an excel sheet so how can i do that just press control p and as soon as you do that you can see that this is the kind of the output that you are getting uh this is the final output which is not looking very good i only want this calendar to be printed and not these a and the b columns and these one and the two rows so how can i do that you can just go back uh we are going to set a print area for that how can we set that print area go to page layout here you will find an option of print area so just click on it and there is an option of set print area so just uh select to it you can use this option to just set your print area how can you do that first of all select some of the cell contents to which you want your print area to be applied to then go to this print area option okay so the thing is the cell was uh, selected firstly so that is why it has been set as the print area now i'm going to clear its print area so just go to clear print area and now the cell content has been removed from the print area now just select this whole calendar which you want to be selected as a print area and just select on the set print area option now only this calendar would be visible how it is uh, shown you can just press control p to view the preview and you can see only this calendar is shown but with this calendar some of the headings of the columns and the row headings are also shown so how can we uh, manipulate that uh, in the page layout only there is a sheet options tab here you can see that the headings uh, there are two check boxes the view check box and the print check box if we just click on this view check box then these headings are not visible but they still would be available in the print the reason being the print check box is clicked so if we just click on this print check box and it is unchecked then if we just press control p then you can see that only this particular uh, calendar is visible without the row and the column headings and that's exactly what we wanted so that's how you can manipulate the row and the column headings or uh, you want you can just view them but they will still not be visible in the print because the print check box is not checked same as the grid lines you can omit them uh, from the view area or if you want you can just omit them from the print area as well so that's what i have done and you can see that now only my calendar is visible with no row headings no column headings and no grid lines as well now when you open this print preview option using control p shortcut here are some of the options that you can apply uh, as well first of all is the orientation you want the landscape orientation or the portrait orientation like this you can just change it what kind of paper you want like you want a letter you want a4 paper or whatever what kind of margins you want uh by default it was selected at narrow margins but if you want you can just select a wide margins or if you want you can just also select a normal margin or if you want you can select custom margins as well that's totally up to you so that is how you can uh, just use these different kinds of the print options to manipulate the way uh, your page looks and apart from that you can also uh, just manipulate the area which is going to be printed using the print area option now one important thing is how can you set a predefined background for your print uh, now for that what we are going to do is first of all clear this print area and we are going to select a somewhat larger print area like this much i'm going to set it as the print area now you can see that these boundaries are signifying that this is the total area that is going to be printed on the paper 
then go to this uh, option called background and uh, you can just use online as well as offline pictures as well so this is the picture that i have chosen and if you want you can just set this picture as the background now this is what your background would look like and if you just preview it so you can see that it is not available in the print the reason being uh, that this picture is only available for the background of this particular sheet and not for the print so that is how you can also set the background and if you want you can just uh, delete it uh, like this this is only for viewing while in the sheet so that is all in today's microsoft excel video i hope you all have enjoyed it thanks for watching